Good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another BDE video. Today, what is hot on discussion is our man, Mike White, the head coach of Florida Gators basketball. He's come into some hot water here recently. The haters are shouting from the mountaintop that it is time to let him go. But is it? That's what we're gonna figure out today. Let's get into it. So I think we all remember how last year ended with Florida having a huge win against Ohio State last year in the big dance and then losing to a 15th seed in Oral Roberts. The end of that season, put some more pressure back onto Mike White. Like, is it time for us to move on from him? He came in this year hot to prove a point, to say, hey, we're gonna lock this in, we're gonna dial it in, winning six in a row and beating two big teams with FSU, who were ranked at the time, as well as Ohio State, who was also ranked and undefeated at the time. Again, very early, but huge wins for Mike White. It seemed that Florida had made the flip, he had made the transition, and was ready to get this ball rolling. Because in years past, he had talked about, hey, we're too soft, we're not mentally ready, we're not prepared for these big games. So he made it a point to go out last year, or this past year, get the guys out of the transfer portal that were had senior veterans that are prepared for this, and could handle this type of pressure, and basically harden up the staff. Well, since then, we had a, a brutal loss to Texas Southern, a brutal loss to Maryland by two points. And now, granted, some of the top three teams in the country, but we are on an 0-3 skid in conference play. And now it seems that Mike White is changing the narrative a little bit and still blaming the fact that we are soft. Is it that the guys are soft or is it are you having a hard time developing these players when you bring them over? Tyree Appleby, for example, had a higher shooting percentage before he came over to Florida and now his shooting percentage is lower than what it was. With this recent skid here, it is bringing the haters from the mountaintop to say it is time to let Mike White go. And with everything that I just delivered to you, you could say, what are we even discussing here? What's what's the problem? If you, I'm not sure if you've noticed, but college basketball coaches seem to keep their job a little bit longer and a little bit easier than let's say football coaches. And that is their main goal is to make the dance. If you make the dance every single year as a college basketball coach, your job is necessarily or basically protected from, from here on out. Right, because I think we all understand that once make you make the dance, it is very hard to get to win those things because of just the, the odds and the Cinderella stories and etc. Right, so as long as he makes it to that, he's good. He's done that. Right, so I think that's where he's been kind of keeping his his, his love going. Granted, he's only made it to the the, the round of thirty two every year. He's made it to the lead eight, I believe, one of the years, but he hasn't been very successful in the dance. And to piggyback off of that. For him to be to go to the dance every year, I'm not sure if you guys have noticed, but the teams that he have have not been very great. The classes he has have not been very great. So he's taken some mediocre teams to the dance, been somewhat effective, not where we're as Gator fans we would like. We like to win, right? And so that's where I think the pressure is coming from. But again, keep in mind, he has taken some weak teams and brought them to the dance and been somewhat competitive. That brings me to my next point, which is the recruiting class for next year. And some may say, listen, who cares about the recruiting recruiting class if you're not winning? And you have a point. When it comes to basketball, right, you get a few good guys. You only have five starters. So your recruiting, recruiting class is two to three guys. If you get two to three good guys, you're looking pretty solid. If we let go of Mike White, those two guys might be gone. And that is massive. That is a huge impact to a basketball team. It's not the same as a football team. If you lose a guy or two, you can make up for that. If you lose a guy or two in basketball, that is huge. So that brings a question. Do we sacrifice our future because we're frustrated right now? Now, again, what I mean, the arguments I made early on where he's having a hard time developing people. He's having a hard, guys are getting essentially worse when they come over here, right? And he went out and got stronger guys and tougher mental guys, but we're now we're going back to they're soft again. Is it a coaching issue? Is it a development issue? I don't know. The SEC is only getting tougher. That security blanket of making the dance goes away this year. It's not going to be looking good for Mike White. Because like I mentioned, you make the dance, all, all things go away. We forget about that kind of stuff because our team is in the dance. We're excited to watch it. Nothing else matters. We've got some easy games coming up in the SEC for him to bounce back, for the team to bounce back, to get back on a little bit of a rhythm, to get some wins in the SEC and to get some conference wins. Those are going to be huge. We still got two big games against Kentucky to the end of the year out. Got a big game against South Carolina on Saturday. It's going to just, we've got some time. No need for us to panic just yet. He can bounce back. Bas basketball is a little bit different than in football. There's the ebbs and flows. We can really turn things around. The SEC tournament can al is always fun. Anything can happen in there. We have some time until that comes around. But it's not looking good for my guy, Mike White. Lock it in buddy make sure you guys leave down some comments make sure you guys like the video tell me what you think is he gone should he stay the haters are saying it's time for him to go i don't know yet it's a little bit too early but we'll see see you guys next week